Hello and welcome to part four or five now of the Breaking All Down Let's Play. We have opened the doors to the next section. We've cleared the seals, so now we will continue on. After going through all our stuff and that sort of thing first. Yeah, so we have some combo stuff. It's a little weird how it works. Anyway, let's spend get get a little closer to leveling up our weapon. And we shall continue on. Here we go. The party is now assembled. You're really not wearing dress for the occasion, are you, Suzuka? Oh, hey, hey, you! Come back! By the way, they're really not the all taking this seriously. Were those clowns again? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's keep going. OMG hacks. <sighs> this schmuck again. Now I'm going to have to make you face a boss battle. And he rushes in and gets caught behind a force field. Way to go, him. Who is this Yoritomo guy? Oh, right, the from earlier. Ah, so you see, Tsune got him rushed into a tough situation and got himself in trouble. Again. This is my lack of surprise. The paper charm. I don't suppose you can make this like a jade, gold, silver, something that didn't disintegrate in the rain, because that is a thing that happens in Japan. It is good to know that. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold him off with my sword dancing. You really shouldn't see him get slaughtered horribly. You better, because there are a lot of these guys. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. I can't posture botchily so... Um, I only posture for so long. Maybe this time I might actually start effect. There we go. Yeah, this is basically what Kamui is best used for, is for dealing with large hordes of enemies or bosses who you have difficulty getting hits in on. And yeah, here I got a healing item for getting all that correctly. Also, notice I got a bit more um, EXP for those attacks this time than otherwise. I notice you generally tend to get a little more XP out of out of doing uh, taking out these guys through Kamui, the, the glowing enemies, the demon samurai, than you do through just standard melee combos. I have a bit more incentive to actually use the Kamui meter. Yeah, Yoshitsune walking Cuisinart. He is like my number one guy for playing this game. There's only three guys here, so I'm gonna hold off and do tricky with Kamui for a bit to see if he gets some more dudes to spawn. Or not. Yeah. 
Also notice if you kill the uh, demon guys in Kamui mode, they don't spawn the little floaty head things after you kill them. Though for this Devil May Cry style combat, I do find myself kind of missing the rating system aside from the point total. Am I devastating? Am I supreme? Am I amazing? Please tell me. I, I, I want to know. I can be really sort of not doing amazing or supreme. So we get that second rating option of the bot thing that comes up there in terms of once you kill a guy and it totals stuff up. I'm not quite sure how that connects everything else. There we go. Okay, again, the one on the uh, on the right right with the um, reddish or violet look to them tend to be more um, of the tend to be the insta kill option. Sometimes you can even hit that even if it's not highlighted. Just go for the insta kill attack. You may have to mash buttons to pull it off. Mash the button to pull it off, but it can't be done. Yeah. You know, being able to execute that guy would have been nice. Ouch. Yeah, knockback in this game is a son of a gun. There we go, got lined up. And we're done with that little sequence there. Yay! So we have to open a timed door. Ah, I love these. We have Ben K and Shizuka. This is basically when the party gets split up. This is one of the two combinations, it's Ben K and Sh is Shizuka for one of the two furs. And then it's Yoshitsune and a character who will be introduced later for the other one. Oh, and we have mo new archers up on the roof. And notice that the Kamui meter actually serves terms as a timer for your button presses here. So if you take too long, that'll run down for your combo. So this gives you a, a reason to level up your Kamui meter, aside from um, launching your attack sooner, is it, lets you, is it also gives you more time to do button presses and potentially do longer combos. See the Heishi managed to pull more demon samurai out their butts. Also notice that in the movie mode, the what the enemies bleed when you cut them changes based on who it is. For example, Suzuka here, she caused the enemies to bleed flowers, while Yoshitsune caused them to bleed leaves. So I guess they so I guess your front lawn is now safe. Oh, who attacks with a spear with it like that? Yeah. 
And here, the situation of, all of the problems this freaking camera has this 4M game. I'm nice and replace the furniture that I broke earlier so I can break it again. Of course, I can't jump up, jump over the railing. Oh, is somebody hung up on level geometry? Oh, baby. Well, took care of you now. Good when the archers are killed, drop the healing item. Healing orb, that's good. So the healing herbs you get, they go into one of two varieties. Either heal the either heal the user or heal the whole party. Also, I do like how Kamui's space basically pay Kamui time basically pays no instance to actual locations that the battle takes place in. Yeah, I'll just shank these dudes. So, weapon leveled up, and goes up by a lot of hit by damage points there. That's good. Hmm. Should I go for... Okay, I go for the other one, too. That was almost leveled up as well, so, yeah. Here's the door on the other side. Let's see if I can still get over there. Yeah, now I'm just ripping through, guys. Which is awesome. Makes her a lot more effective combat-wise. Gotta take these guys out now, so I don't have to deal with them later when I'm trying to get I'm trying to get through the time to door. Ah, crap. Yeah, so I just one shot of that dude from the dodge ability there. Grab my way all the way back through these guys and get back inside. Should that feel still? still be, it'd still be nice to be able to one shot those heads, though. Actually, you know what? I think what I'll do is hit the save point over here, save again, and then come back to this level later. And then, yeah. So we'll finish this up next time and make it, and hopefully next episode we'll make it all the way to the treasure room. So, until then, I'll see you next time.